the last week we showed you a hive that was doing everything right. It was booming, massive population, bringing in honey, but not all hives are the same. We have 12 hives at that site and one of them was causing us concerns. Um, the, we narrowed it down to it being queen issues, but we weren't entirely sure. And so we'll talk you through the process that we went through to sort of rule a few out, rule a few in, and then what we did to uh, put it right as well. This one caught my eye because I'd only put the one super on, the one next to us caught my eye because I put three on that. I'm really hopeful of what's inside that. But as I take the hive lid off, there's a lot more bees coming out. The, the temperament from the other hives, particularly the first one we looked at, is very different. They seem a bit more agitated. Only four seams of bees in this one. So we'll, we'll have a look. Take the dummy board out. You can tell just by the temperament of this hive that it, there's something going on. So we'll find out. They've got a smaller number of bees. Lots of stores on this frame. They are bringing in pollen, which is sometimes a good sign that they're a laying queen. But we'll just put that one to, to the back of there. Followed by another predominantly pollen and honey frame. So no brood. If you remember the first one we went in, there was we were starting to see brood at this point. And the, the bees are sort of, they're not aggressive, but they are flying up a bit more than the others, a bit more agitated. No sign of any queen yet. In their desperation, they are trying to produce a queen cell. So they, they don't stand a cat and hell's chance of, of producing a viable queen at this time of year. One, because the, it looks like the original queen isn't laying, um, but they may be just found an egg or something, or we have what's called laying workers in the, there's no egg in, inside that cup. So we'll, and no eggs around it. So we'll, we'll, we'll carry on looking. It looks like we've got a queen, but she's not come back into lay. Um, the queen is dead, is another possibility. And there, there is no queen at all. Just by the lack of brood, they've got another pretend queen cell on there. Or in fact, the queen could have superseded at the back end of last year but so late that she was poorly mated and so hasn't been able to lay um, it's hard to tell really until we find the queen of course if they have a and there we there's our answer um, they have a, an unmarked queen which is which is here and another queen cell. So the likelihood is this is a very late queen. She's superseded the marked queen that we would have put in here last year. Um, she, she could have failed, and, but this particular one isn't able to lay eggs. Um, probably just too late in the season. And as, as I said before, we, we haven't looked in these hives since October. And so this is what you find sometimes. There's a reasonable number of bees in here and we do have some nukes back at home. It's far enough away so we could bring a nuke in here and restock this hive. But we would need to um, destroy this particular queen because she's not viable really. So if you don't want to know the score then Please look away. <laughs> so, she's, she's, 
She's off and running. There she is. Trying to bury herself underneath these bees. So there we go. So this hive is now queenless and we'll repopulate that with a nuke because there is a nice number of bees. They will, again, they'll try and raise something themselves which will be pointless. They don't have any, there's no eggs in here at all. There's lots of stores still left in the hive so we'll as we did with the first hive, we'll just equalise those out to make sure the new queen's got some lane room. And that's it. So uh, 11 out of 12 is a pretty good number. We do expect, you know, a few losses over the winter. And that one was, was unavoidable, really. So we'll, we'll close this up. We've still got foraging bees. They'll still collect a bit of honey, although probably such a small co population, they won't do that. Um, but I'll bring back a nuke tomorrow and repopulate that. It's a funny thing that if you put two colonies of bees together they will fight, presumably. I think these would definitely fight. If you put three colonies of bees together they, they don't fight. And I think it's because all the pheromones get mixed up. So what we'll do with, with the colony we'll bring, we'll put a sheet of newspaper, old colony, new colony, but the new colony will have a queen. Just put a tiny hole in the newspaper and then gradually over a few days those pheromones of the old queen will disappear. She's now been dispatched anyway and those bees will grow to love this new queen and they'll all amalgamate as one colony and um, yeah there's still plenty of time for us to get some honey off this. Um, it's going to be they've not had the best start but we shall try and intervene and uh, and, and we can follow this hive again. We'll see, see what happened, see if the uh, intervention worked. And uh, it's what makes beekeeping interesting. We need to get rid of that queen, because if you put two queens together, they will, they'll fight. And knowing our luck, the, the one we don't want will we'll win. So uh, yeah, we just dispatch her and then these existing bees will be they'll be desperate to receive something new queen wise and we'll put on with a, that little bit of newspaper trick and they'll over there a few days they'll amalgamate and this is definitely one we should come and revisit and because uh, it's it's these problems that are more interesting and how you get how you learn to get away from problems because if we did nothing at this point in time this this is a dead hive with no intervention so we went back and requeened the whole hive with by dropping a nucleus in. Two sets of bees. We want to go back sometime in the future. We'll make it a forthcoming uh, episode to go back and see how that hive is doing, whether the queen was accepted, and they should be off and running. Um, we should have sorted the problems out. They should be producing honey. The queen should be laying. We're optimistic at this point, but we don't exactly know if you've like and subscribe you can come on that journey with us find out what happened with our nuke fingers crossed everything works fine